Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our in-depth video review of the HTC Resound. It's the second generation 4G LTE device from HTC's camp, headed to Verizon Wireless for a two-year contract price of $299.99, $300. So it competes against things like the Motorola Droid Razor, which we checked, we checked out. It follows after the Thunderbolt, and of course it features some upgraded hardware, such as dual-core processor. On top of that, it's managed to impress some people with its 4.3-inch 720p display, so it's going to offer a little better detail and clarity than most handsets out there. Of course, 4G LTE, 4G LTE connectivity is intact. It also is the very first device to offer Beats audio support, so you get that full fidelity in terms of uh, audio experience. And we'll see whether or not it could really stand with the juggernauts out there in the industry. As we've heard already, the HTC Resound utilizes some of the same design characteristics that we find already on the HTC Droid Incredible 2. And its overall looks looks almost exactly the same. Uh, specifically in the rear, you have the same looking pattern design cover. Uh, it has that soft touch feel, makes it clean looking and also a good grip in hand. We also like the red accents around the camera, the earpiece, even the capacitor buttons are red. And internally, when you remove the back cover, it has a plastic translucent shell that's in red. Show off its ties to Verizon. Overall, nothing really too appealing about the handset. It doesn't sport any of those unibody aluminum designs that we've seen from HTC's camp. It's pretty much in line to what we've seen already with the Droid Incredible 2, and doesn't try to be as dramatic looking compared to other handsets. So what's special about the HTC Resound's display? Well, first of all, it's the first to market with a 720p display on there. Specifically, it's a 4.3-inch Super LCD panel with a resolution of 720 by 1080 pixels. So when you break it down, do the math, you calculate it, it gives you a fabulous pixel density of 341 ppi. In contrast, the iPhone 4S Retina display has a pixel density of 326 ppi, so you can only imagine how much more clear and sharp looking it is versus what's out there. For things like the uh, the icons here in the app menu, to tell you the truth, when we're looking at the device from a foot away, our eyes don't notice the difference between it and, let's say, a device that has QHD resolution, like the Motorola Droid Razor. I'll quickly show you that here. You could tell that the clarity is just about the same. Our eyes don't notice it. Even for things like 720p videos, uh, it's almost negligible. You're not going to have a superior uh, experience on the Resound versus, let's say, the QHD display on the uh, Droid Racer. But where you do notice it the most is of things like web browsing where it displays very fine looking text. We'll show you this really quick here as the page loads up here. So when we're in a zoomed out view all the way, you could tell the news posting here, we could, we're still able to make out the fine text with the HTC Resound thanks to its uh, 720p resolution. Whereas on the Droid Razor, it looks more garbled looking. And of course, we're only able to distinguish that when we're, when our look, when we're looking at very up close. Besides that, definitely detail. We like that aspect about it. In terms of color production, definitely liking the punchy colors that its SLCD panel produces. Uh, very vibrant, but it suffers from some poor viewing angles, and its overall out brightness output isn't the best, so it makes it very hard to view in outdoor conditions. Above the display, we find the wide-looking earpiece that has that red accent to it, and also a front-facing 2-megapixel camera. Unfortunately, we're not a fan of the handset's dedicated buttons here, such as the uh, volume rocker and even the dedicated power button here. But they're flat, very difficult to make out with our finger, and a subtle response when you push them down. Also on the top edge of the phone, we have the 3.5mm headset jack, which accommodates the included Beats Audio headphones, and you also have the noise cancellation microphone as well. And just like some other recent HTC smartphones out there, the micro USB port also offers video app functionality with the use of an optional MHL adapter. HTC has been serious about taking photos with their handsets and goes with the same here with the Resound. It features an 8 megapixel autofocus camera, dual LED flash. It also features backside illumination and f2.2 lens for a wider aperture. So it's allegedly going to take better shots in low lighting conditions. And when you remove the back cover, you got to pry it off like so. You gain access to its battery, the SIM card slots behind it, and also the 16 gigabyte micro SD card right there. With its 720p display and all, of course the HTC Resound is going to require a fast processor to handle its operation. And inside of it, it's running a dual core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm MSM8660 processor and it's coupled with 1 GB of DDR2 RAM. Um, to tell you the truth, with the static wallpaper activated right here, you can tell in the background, it's a little bit more on the graphically intensive side. It's a little bit choppy with its response, not quite as fluid as we'd like. Uh, but when we switch it to a static one, 
we notice that the the performance to be significantly better we'll show you here really quick here let's just select the uh, static wallpaper here use this one and we'll show it really quick and in all honesty it is probably one of the fastest uh, HTC device with Android we checked out um, when you use a static wallpaper it exhibits a really nice uh, fluid movements with its operation I'll quickly show that here so you notice that as we're just uh, tracking our finger between the home screens it's able to keep a tight response and overall definitely peppy with the uh, static wallpaper live wallpaper not so much but in any event we definitely like its performance either way so the HTC Resounds, the second device on Verizon Wireless's lineup to offer the Sense 3.5 experience running on top of Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread. And tell the truth, we like it just for the simple fact that it's refined, it's deep with its personalization aspects, and it's definitely pretty. You can tell with the various uh, widgets, definitely nice and useful. Um, HTC Sense offers a lot of personalization. You can change the things like the various scene modes. Uh, you could customize them, add different widgets the various skins too. You have a ton of different wallpapers, even live wallpapers, and probably one more useful thing is the lock screens. You could get, you could select which one you want, and you could also quickly launch specific applications all from the lock screen, and all in all, we definitely like it. Thanks partly to its sizable display, the messaging experience is of course going to be awesome on the device. The Sense keyboard is definitely one of more of the useful layouts out there just because we have quick access to certain certain punctuations and numbers directly from the main layout so we don't have to waste our time getting to a second you know, screen to do that. And combining its, uh, its responsive nature and just the spacious layout, it just offers for a really great experience. Even though Verizon's 4G LTE network has been available for some time now, we're always astounded with the web browsing experience on its 4G LTE devices just because it just loads up complex web pages very quickly, like ours here. And on top of that, with the HTC Resound, it handles Flash content very well. It doesn't slow down stutter. You can tell with its navigational controls, pinch gestures, kinetic scrolling, very responsive, and we definitely like it. And overall, it's definitely a web browser's dream device. One of the Resound specialties is the fact that it's the very first device being launched in the U.S. to offer support for Beats Audio. As far as the music player interface goes, nothing new about it. Same old thing we've seen before, uh, but it's with the uh, Beats headphones that are included with the device that really make the audio experience so gratifying. It just produces some strong bass tones, which makes the sounds, the uh, audio quality, very robust in tone. But if you have it disabled, you get a little bit more mute tones. On the other hand, with the speaker, the internal speaker, uh, it's definitely a strong output. It doesn't crackle the lattice volume setting, but doesn't quite have that profound sound of sound or quality with the Beats audio headphones. Really quick, we're just going to show you the gallery application with the HTC Sense 3.5 experience. You can tell it shows all your albums and has that nifty looking effect as it's loading up all the content here. When you make selection, you could do different things like pinch gestures to zoom in. You could browse uh, through the rest of the content here. And also, you have the ability to edit some things, uh, not a lot. And you can even share it to different social networking accounts, even email. And the more function allows you to set it as a background wallpaper or on a slideshow. Not surprisingly, the HTC Resound handles high definition videos very well, no problems at all, and shows with the one we have here that's playing. It's encoded in MPEG-4, 1280 by 720 resolution, so 720p. Of course, it has a lot of rich details. It's clear, sharp looking, and with its SL SLCD display, it has some really distinctive color tones, and it's moving at a smooth frame rate, no lag or slowdown, and overall, it showcases the handset's potential. So here's a lowdown with the handset's 8 megapixel camera. On paper, it sounds like a beauty just because it features dual LED flash, backside illumination, and a wide angle f2.2 lens. But in actual translation, it takes some average looking shots on the whole. Specifically, outdoors, on sunny conditions, we definitely like the saturated color production that it has to offer, but it's not really realistic, uh, but nonetheless very pleasing to the eye. Details are rather faint and indistinct. That's the, probably the biggest thing that we don't like about it. Uh, so for 4x6, shots it's decent but but for anything larger you could forget about it indoors under low lighting conditions of course there's some noise and the exposure is kicked up just a little bit just to counteract the low lighting conditions with the LED flash it does a good job of illuminating the scenery but has this tendency to cast this purplish color to the overall shots 
At the same time, we're not all that blown away by the handset's 1080p high definition video capture just because the main reason is that the details are rather vague and indistinct, almost non-existent at times. Fortunately, it does shoot at the rate of 30 frames per second, so it's very smooth. Color production seems to be a little bit on the purplish, bluish side, and exposure seems gradual, so it doesn't abruptly change right away. Um, and on top of that, the audio recording, definitely natural for the most part, a little bit of noise, but not that bad at all. It does offer this uh, slow motion mode which uh, shoots it at 60 frames per second so it gives you that nice slow motion effect but besides that overall it's decent to tell the truth. Color quality is nearly superb with the handset just because with the earpiece its volume outputs very glaring strong and prominent and voices are easily heard through it there's no background noise or distortion on, that, on our end line and on top of that voices have a distinctive tone to them on the other end line our callers didn't have any issues they said they're able to hear our robust voices and when we switched to using the speakerphone it is strong with its volume output but it tends to crackle just a little bit at the loudest volume setting. Similar to what we experience on other 4G LTE devices with Verizon Wireless, it seems that it has issue connected to 4G LTE indoors. Outdoors is not a problem. You can tell here in high coverage areas we have a low, low, low uh, signal strength. Fortunately, it didn't drop any phone calls during our testing. When you take in its 720p display, it's a dual core processor and 4G LTE connectivity. Of course, the biggest question in our minds is battery life. And to tell you the truth, this guy just follows in the same similar manner as other devices before it. Not great battery life, especially if you're using 4G LTE a lot. It's going to zap your battery very quickly and you're going to get less than a single day's worth of usage. In fact, in our testing, in our experience, we're able to get roughly around 10 hour mark before it's completely tapped out or juice. Uh, so you might probably want one just set to connect to 3G connectivity just to save yourself on battery life. So let's get the obvious out of the way. The HTC Resound is priced at $300 with a two-year contract. It's definitely fitting for a device of this caliber just because it offers some really nice hardware under the hood, such as the 720p uh, display. But to tell you the truth, uh, you're going to have to really look close to notice the difference in quality, um, especially if you're looking from far away. Uh, it's not going to be that visible. Um, and to tell you the truth, it's pretty much it's going to be hard for anyone to notice the difference between this and something that has a QHD resolution, but nevertheless, it does offer a high pixel density and very detailed display. It has Beats audio support, which is great if you love music, but doesn't really add to the overall appeal to the handset. Design-wise, it's pretty much straightforward, a cookie-cutter approach with its looks, nothing really dra drastically different to really reel in our attention. And overall, it's a valiant effort on HTC's part, but there are probably going to be better handsets out there in the future that you want to probably take a look at. So if you'd like to learn more about the HTC Resound, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching, guys.